Hi guys, it's Dave here from HLJ.com. Today we are taking a look at Kotobuki's new line known as Cross Frame Girl, and it continues with Wonder Woman, Humikane Shimida version, named after the illustrator whose works this design is based on. Cross Frame Girl, Gao Gaigar, preceded this kit, but this is really the first time they have changed the category on their site and marketed this as a new line. I believe it's because it's a DC collaboration and this is quite the catch, given the recent superhero movies, including Wonder Woman. Just to make it clear, Cross Frame Girl is a collaboration series that combines Kotobukiya's original IP, Cross Frame Arms Girl, and its advanced technology with other well-known media content. And yeah, this is a big one. So out of the box, this kit includes three facial expressions, normal front facing, normal left facing, and yelling. Her sword, shield, and the lasso of truth in two different sizes, various armor parts, shield effect parts, and a simple base are also included in this kit. Each joint has a huge range of flexibility, allowing for diverse posing such as the posing like in the comics. We expect this from Kotobuki's Frame Arms Girl. The kit comes as usual with multicolored parts and face parts pre-printed, making them easy to assemble and no paint required for that section. One thing is that this kit does require some paint on parts to make it look really realistic, but it's quite simple to do, you know, use Gundam markers, but if not, it still looks great. The kits are equipped with the uh, three millimeter joints, as I always say, and so it's compatible with all of the other Kotobukiya kits like MSG, Frame Arms Girl, other cross frame girls. The faces are always the same size. Also to say legs and arm parts are also compatible. Okay, so let's have a look at articulation. Now for this, I'm going to take the shield off, but I'll also show you how it's attached. So this little bit hooks into her arm and Actually, all they do is give you an, a little tiny extender because otherwise it's going to hit into this type of dagger sword thing here. So I'll put that back over there. One other thing is that you can actually remove these sword bits and put them anywhere you want. I thought it was fitting to put the back because I want the sword, um, sorry, the shield at the front here. So let's start from the head. She has like a, a peg here that will go up and down, but not side to side. And that's attached to a ball joint in her head. Well, there we go, which, you know, goes up and down. It's not that big a range of motion, but it's, it does the job. No, no parts of the hair move at all. Now moving down, you want to be very careful of these parts on her chest, her breastplate because this loves to come off when you when you move her around. And whilst we're on it, uh, it's got a good range of motion. Um, the sword can get in the way of the arm sometimes, but you get the idea. And the arms are just on like ball joints here and then a type of, you know, pin going through the circle there. Elbows are very simple. They do join at two points. So you do get a bit more range of motion there. And as with all frame arm girl, kits they have this tiny ball joint for the hand just a little peg you want to be careful putting these together because they are separate pieces and sometimes you can see maybe gaps between them like there maybe i didn't cut a nub off very well just be careful of that moving down now i don't know if you can see this but this waist oh, there goes the sword this waist part here doesn't really move that much also at the back sometimes if you bend her forward too much you can start seeing the interior i guess that's not such a big deal but now this that just fell off is her sword and when it comes it is just pure silver i've painted this and uh i don't think it looks too bad it's quite easy use gundam markers <laughs> the black i used obviously isn't strong enough strong enough because when i put her hand on it to scrape some off but you know, that's easy to repair and uh, get stronger, stronger paint. So yeah, that goes into a little sheath that also has some detailing on it. We, oop, yeah, it's, it doesn't stick. It's just hold, held by gravity. And that goes into either side and fixes on her waist. The other side, you have a lasso. Bit annoying putting that in. So I'll use the longer one that you get for, po for other poses. Uh, it's just this type of wire and it is quite hard to really get it exactly how you want, i got to say. 
as you've probably seen in some of the shots I've already shown. You can see here that they think that you can do something like this. I think that's quite hard just to get it perfectly round and perfectly straight and taut and even stay in her hands. So that's just something to note. But um, I probably won't ever have her with that and would prefer to stick to her using a sword and having the shield attached, that cool shield. Oh, by the way, this is also painted. The gold is not there. I added that. Uh, so yeah, I actually added some paint on the uh, white parts on her knees as well because it looked so bad, just red. It's meant to go all the way down, but I wasn't satisfied with the way it looked because I was, it's a bit sticky. Anyway, here on her leg joints, she can't do the 360, but as you see that joint there does move around a bit given a more range of motion. So that's cool. Just make sure they're both lined up because otherwise you've got one leg looking longer than the other. Uh, moving down, her knees, just two two joints connecting one piece. So, yeah, there you go, it's double jointed. And her feet, well, they, they can do 360, that's just a simple peg. And her toes also um, can do some weird things, so you've got no problem posing them. Let's get that back to normal. So let's look at her back. You've got the really crappy normal stand here that they give you. I'm not a fan of these, I hardly ever use them. I'd invest in something better. And as I said, yeah, that's type of a problem if you want her bent over, but I don't think you're going to be doing that too much. And we'll just see, there's the lasso bit. So, better looking at her forward, <laughs> but I guess that's what most people would do. Yeah, you can pose her however you want. It's very good. Uh, I think she's got a lot of detail, but I would have definitely painted her. Even these star bits here, I've just added a bit of white to, uh, just to separate the colours. But yeah. That's about it for articulation. So what do I think about this kit? It's a real wondrous kit. <laughs> nah, but seriously, it's a real masterpiece. It looks amazing and even better if you add some paint to it. So I, I'm not gonna brag, but I think I did a real good job with the sword, but the white was a bit harder on the legs. You may need to layer it with a base layer, to be honest, and just a Gundam marker can be messy or sticky sometimes. But for the golden black, it looks really, really great. I love that they give you the two lassoes so you can have her holding it or actually throwing it. And the sword, shield and effect parts really are great. Who is this kit for? I think it's pretty much for all Frame Arm Girl fans and definitely DC fans, Wonder Woman fans. It's one of the most sturdiest kits I've ever built from Kotobukiya. You may have to add a bit of glue here and there, but Honestly, I can't recommend it enough. Maybe get a better stand because, you know, if you watch my reviews, I don't really like Kotobuki stands at all. It's sometimes really weak, but because she doesn't have loads of added extras, it's not too bad on this kit. So I would say this is one of my favourite kits this year. Looks great, not too hard. It does require a bit of glue, I think, just to make it a little bit sturdier, but it is great. Anyway, you can grab this on h4j.com right now. We secured a whole load of stock, even given its limited availability, knowing Kotobuki goods. Everyone saw this, Wonder Woman, bye, bye, bye. And so really, if you click down below, you can get it quick. So thanks for watching. Obviously, links down in the description to snap one up. And of course, sub and like all that jazz. Anyway, I'm Dave from H4J and catch us soon for another review. See ya.